Now, the Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi has raised a few eyebrows by insisting that members of his cabinet speak English. It's contributed to a growing, if not entirely new, sense in Italy that there's a bit too much English in public life. And uh, to a campaign, say it in Italian or dillo in Italiano, which is calling on the government not to allow English to become a new lingua franca. Well, they're worried, for example, about a new advert for the Italian Armed Forces, which ends with the tagline in English, Be cool, join the Navy. Now, let's talk to Beppe Severnini, a columnist for the Italian paper Corriere della Sera. He also writes for the New York Times. He's on webcam from Crema, just outside Milan. Beppe Severnini, thank you very much uh, for joining us. I mean, when you see an example like that, Italians are right to be worried, aren't they? No, not really. Uh, although I'm, I'm worried now that maybe I'm talking English to the BBC, they're going to strip my citizenship. What do you think? <laughs> well, your English is pretty good, so uh, yeah. You're not one of those people who, who's resisting that push towards speaking more English. Look, I, uh, I'm so happy to be able to speak English, and I wonder how many at the BBC at this, in this moment could speak to me in Italian. That means I speak <laughs> two languages, you speak one. So I'm adding a language. I'm not giving up my language. I can could speak to you in Italian. I think the battle and, and is against the ridiculous. There are, I mean, why do you have to call Jobs Act in English? The Reforma del Lavoro, which is a labor reform. Why do you have to name it in English? Why revisione della spesa, spending review? You have to use the English word, spending review, so most people don't understand what it's about. And this these is, are the problem, and the politicians are responsible for these, not us. This is what you're saying the government is doing right now, using all these unnecessary English terms Absolutely. when they could quite easily use the Italian versions. I'm a businessman and, and, uh, and, and so on. I've given out hopes long ago. They <laughs> speak English half of the time. Actually, they put English words into Italian, which is not the thing to do. You, are Ita you speak Italian, speak Italian. Speak English, as we're doing now, speak English. Well, How some, about that? Yeah, some boardroom uh, English is pretty strange, too. Um, tell me about this very prestigious Milan Polytechnic. You've been writing about what happened there. Just briefly give us a history of the reaction that they had when they tried to introduce courses in English only. Well, yes, that was my column in the New York Times. Is, uh, what happens is that the, uh, the Milan Polytechnic, which is the oldest and most prestigious technical university in Italy, decided they really need to have master courses and doctorates in English only, because the textbooks are in English, all the students speak English, they have international students, they're going to work all over the world and speak English and work in English. So I think it's a great idea. I went to talk like a commencement speech to the students. I started off in Latin and then I spoke English to them and hell broke loose, you know, and, and, and they say, and now there have been protests, not against me, against this rule of the English only for master courses, and they are now the constitutional court, believe it or not, has to decide soon what to do about it. We have enough problems in Europe. I don't think <laughs> this is one of them. You don't think that Italy should start going down the French route of really seriously protecting their language? Aline, you want to protect your language, you speak your language, you use your language. If there are whole industries such as, you know, engineering or computer sciences, which or think of the social network. I mean, how can you possibly translate social network or computer or mouse? There are things that were born in English. So I don't think it's, no, I think the French have uh, managed to be ridiculous when they try to, to do that. But the smart French laughed and say, we're going to speak English and French and maybe some other languages. I think the languages change and we have to accept that. I think defense and be conservative with language is, is uh, absurd. Beppe Severnini, thank you very much. We're out of time. We appreciate your time. Thank you.